Hi everybody, I hope you're all doing well. I've got a 30 minute soul journey session that I'm doing for a client and we're gonna be focusing all the energy work and wisdom here on the spleen. So I'm gonna relax and get tuned in and we'll see what we can discover and what kind of healing we can share today. All right, here we go. Healing the spleen. Okay, there's a lot, just a second here, there's a lot of stress. This is quite a lot of stress. Holy smokes. Um, there's something about your throat. Um, even trying to talk through it, it's really bothering me. And I keep seeing what is like a dried up, um, not raisin, but a prune. Um, so that's where I'm going first, but it's also interconnected with your spleen. And I will say the energy is really, really, really loud. It's aggravation. It's stress. Okay. I'm, I'm just wafting this out right now. I'm just relaxing it down and it's relaxing quite substantially. It's almost like it just needed to get that out. Just needed to say that. But now that it's relaxing down, it's um, relaxing very quickly. I mean, I even feel so peaceful. I mean, I feel so peaceful, like I'm just transformed into just a gentle flowing brook. That peaceful, like from extreme to this other peaceful extreme, like stress extreme to peaceful extremes. That fast, it's interesting. I'm touching this, uh, this raisin like prune. Oh man, my mind is full of all these ideas. It's actually, as I'm touching, it has nothing to do with Abby's mind. It has everything to do with information, energy information going through the mind. Okay. As I'm touching this, this may not be going through your mind, actually, your conscious mind. This is literally, your body is having some inner communications right now. Really strong ones about this issue. And this is not your spleen. This is something else. But your spleen is interconnected with this thing, okay? And it's kind of spongy. Um, it's spongy. It looks raisin-like. It looks like this, the size of a plum. Um prune it's something of this kind um, it's really interconnected with throat energy your mind energy is a, a big part of the process of um, communication energetic communication with this this is, is um, a definite imbalance here all right your ears are releasing energy there's just a lot of energy clog in your ears your mind is going a mile a minute, and this does feel more on the conscious level. You have so much on your mind. I mean, at the conscious level and then underneath the conscious level. So there's just so much information just spewing out of you beneath the surface and at the surface. It's just like all these ideas. Ideas about health, too. Health balance. I mean, that's a big one here. It just seems like your your world, like you could write a book in, in very quickly with all these ideas. I don't know what that book would read like, but it's just like lots and lots of piled upon, piled upon, piled upon, piled upon, piled upon, piled of thoughts. Lots and lots of thoughts. And it's just like, it's all there. I'm just going to relax this down. Maybe you're overthinking. Maybe you're overthinking. I mean, how is all this thinking actually going to solve any problems? You know what I mean? It's just so natural to just think a lot, but sometimes, you know, it just, thinking is good, it's important, it's trying to connect dots, but then you can stay on the same thoughts for way too long, and now, are we really connecting dots, or are we just taking this way too far, you know? So, no, no amount of thinking is going to change this prune thing. Your thoughts are not going to change this prune thing, okay? It's just, it's not going to, but it's going to give you ideas. It's just creating more noise than anything here. Just gonna calm it on down. You're gonna feel like your mind has been cleared out 
the weird thought pollution going on in there. These aren't negative thoughts either, necessarily. There's just a lot of thoughts. So much thoughts, I don't, it just... I'm even talking about this still. I'm still talking about your thoughts. Like, you must... This, this is a lot. <laughs> Chilling it out still. <sighs> yeah. Interesting. Trying to dive into this prune thing. And your mind is creating a weird block here. It looks like an ice wall. It's a teal color. It's pretty. Um, but it's not cold by any means. And I want to... I keep talking to this wall. And I'm telling this wall, hey, that prune thing over there. I just need to touch it. I just need to to reach inside and just understand its energy. But I can't do that if you're gonna just be in my way. So wall, you need to get out of my way. I wanna see what it uh, does here. You know what, you're also doing a huge, there's, there's some definite purging of old stuff going on. And what it happens to look like is just lots of like a ghoul ghouls so it's like weird lumbering bodies and these like halloween type faces they're ghouls they're ghostly like and there's just clots of them okay it's kind of but they're all just coming on out as well well you got a lot going on here <laughs> in your energy field it's not just the thoughts here it's not just you wanting to look at your spleen and then it, whatever this relationship is here with this throat thing there's something going on there but on top of all of this, there's literally just, um, you know, the stars are aligned and they're inspiring some old stuff to just rise up to the surface and then just be let go of. So you got a lot going on here. Those ghouls don't feel um, negative. They don't really feel like anything. It's just like a purging of stuff that you don't need anymore. It's like taking out the trash. There's something very simple about it. It just wants to come out. That's all. All right, now I'm seeing an image of you and you're sitting, it's, it's a very, it, you could even call it a prison cell room. It's very super basic. It's like a bed that's not a bed. It's like a bench and it's kind of projects out from the wall. Um, there's actual chains that hold this bed kind of up. It's, it's, it's not as dungeony as, as it sounds. It's all white and kind of plasticky. And I see you sitting on this this plastic uh, bench slash bed in a very basic, super clean, plastic-like room. And you're withdrawn. You're withdrawn. And your head is looking down. Why is it looking down? You're in an orange jumpsuit like a prisoner. What has happened here? And your ears again are starting to, there's an ear energy claw going on and there's just way too much energy stuffed into those things. So this has got to come out. It's like a lot of information that you're taking in, okay? And then you're thinking a lot about all this information and then you have other processes going on beneath the surface of your conscious mind and then you ha do you have some um, physical communicate body communications going on here too. And there is something And I can't I can't get to it just yet until all of this stuff has said what it needs to say, okay? It's like I'm trying to walk into your ultimate castle and I have to get through this um, drawbridge and then the ego comes and puts this in front of me so now I have to f figure out how to work through ego now I have all these people here saying that they've been trying to get out of the castle for a while like so I'm ha constantly having to go through all these layers and I can't just force my way to spleen bam like that I have to help release all the stuff that you got at the surface um, that is all interconnected with your spleen too <sighs> yeah 
yeah, because I can't get through this prison cell, just like ignore it and pretend that it's not there. I need to actually resolve this unreconciled energy. Why? I, I'm just going to talk to you, this part of you, and I, I'm just saying, why are you in here? This is a prison inside yourself, and it's small. It's not like the total you. It's not totally inside all of you. It's just a little tiny square box. It's a, it's a cube um, inside yourself. It's just kind of just lingering there, and then it's black everywhere, but there's a light on in this space where you are. I still can't get you to look at me yet. Still can't get you to answer my question. I'm going to ask her, what do you know about the spleen? What do you know about this prune thing? Something's wrong with her face. She does look up and it looks like the acid. I mean, I don't know. It's not an acid energy. It's like something was removed from her face, and particularly across the forehead and down the cheek and around this left eye. And then, I mean, it, it's almost like I could see through her, but I can't. It's just weird, like black and blue looking. And I say, will you please talk to me? We got to resolve some stuff here. And if you don't talk to me, then this just lingers. And I'm showing you what I see. And I'm like, you're just hanging out in this plasticky prison cell with an orange jumpsuit on in a cube room, just floating out in the void with a weird face. We need to talk about this stuff. Oh. Boy. I will say this has to do with your heart and it has to do with your emotional gut and digestive area. <sighs> Primarily. There's a lot of exhaustion just wafting over the head. Sleepy. Very sleepy feeling. It's like drifting. I will say some major energy shifts are going on. Just me talking to this part of you, major. I mean, it's almost like you've been under a lot of stress because this is relaxing here. Around the eyes and the forehead is relaxing here. It's not free though. It's not at peace. It's, it's like pent up. It's still holding on to something. But it's imprisoning itself, you see. So there's definitely something that you're missing here. It's not you holding on to a burden. It's something unreconciled that doesn't actually exist. You feel like it does, though, which is you imprisoning yourself in an illusion. I know it's complicated. We're just going to keep working through this. I'll see if I can find out what this is about. There's a lot of sadness, too. I mean, with you and all these thoughts, you could write a book with all these thoughts. Like, there's so many thoughts. And these ghouls that are coming out from deep down inside. Choices that you're making right now that um, may be bringing resolution to some past choices. <sighs> all the while, just kind of holding on to concerns. But I don't necessarily experience concern. I 
I'm going to leave a part of myself here with you and I'm going to come back to this and I'm telling her this I'm holding her hand and I'm saying I'm going to stay with you but I want to check out some other stuff too and as I say this I, I see you're actually getting younger and younger and younger to the point that your feet aren't touching the ground they're just kind of lifted off the ground because you're like seven years old now and you're still waiting inside it's inside this room and you're waiting quietly this is mega um, moving energy in your heart and in your emotional gut okay and it's almost hard to breathe through because it is so much energy is this what your spleen wants you to know about because spleen is really it's a wise body part you know it knows stuff it wants you to see stuff hold on just releasing stress it's almost like you want some things in your life to just be straightforward and easy just like a soul but it's like you really it's about time that some things in your life were just straightforward and easy it's that feeling too wow that's part of it too because i mean these thoughts these millions and bajillions of thoughts that could be overlapping the same thought but it's so much thought <sighs> can also be just simply about your life and paralleling aspects of your life today with other times in your life and and um, making some decisions that are that are healing other decisions you'd made at other parts and your life like it feels like you're going through a major reconciliation inside yourself and I mean a lot of reconciliation of, of sorts like different parts of you man why are you imprisoned inside yourself she is just so patient and waiting for all flipping time I mean she's like this too she's just so perfectly poised but she's not happy she's not smiling she's almost like um, she was told to be still and then she chose to be still and she's not expressing herself naturally she's expressing herself unnaturally and she's poised unnaturally poised in her own inner prison and you keep this place silent you won't even let yourself know about this and this is a sacral chakra thing this is about self-love, self-expression, sacral chakra, sexual body stuff. Because sexual body is about love and pleasure and joy. And, and it's like the, the fruits of life, like the best parts of life. And feeling like you too are the best parts of life. Like loving yourself, being yourself expressing yourself to your friends to your family to those you love you know intimately and just not intimately just happiness you know your this is your happiness place this is your happy place but you feel a duty to it like this and the duty to this poised self is justified and responsible and mature and you keep this contained and you keep it in a void where it doesn't really reach you because it, you don't need it to because you've already decided how it's going to be but it still exists there and your spleen knows about it your spleen knows 
Man, your spleen is like... I don't know why, but... <laughs> spleen is like the most attractive man on the in the whole universe. <laughs> It's like the this hunky guy. <laughs> He's like super suave, gentleman, says all the right things, like um, but he's legit. He's not a phony. He's like the most amazing man you could ever ask for. Hmm. This is important. Super important. Because you gotta let this man heal you. You gotta open this door and you gotta let this man heal you, okay? And I'm not meaning just the spleen, but a lover in your life. Because you can't, you can't do it like that. It's not natural. It's not you. And you, because you did such a good job of becoming this, that you are going to be this and that's it. And you're not going to stop being this because it was so hard to become like this that to undo it, is not, is just totally out of the question. No. That is a challenge, but that's a challenge you will have to face. Okay? Because my guides, higher self, are showing me the door to your prison opening up, and the man of your dreams enters and holds you. Yeah. <sighs> Spleen wants you to know about this. Spleen wants you to know about this. And this is more important than that. Whatever that great that prune thing is, it's more important than anything you can even imagine because healing this is going to create a ripple of balance across everything. Everything will feel it. Everything will receive from it. Everything will be nurtured, all right? And I'm talking your eyeballs even, and your ears, and er literally your skin, like your organs, everything will feel it and heal from it. <sighs> okay, your throat's getting pissed off because communication is a part of this. Communication. So there you are in this inner prison. And you're not speaking to me and helping me to understand, right? You've closed the door and this is the way it's going to be. Spleen is saying you need to open that door. You need to let this love in. And you need to speak. You need to talk about this. You need to work on healing this. Because it was damaging and you went through damage in order to become like this. So it's a wound as clean and as perfect and as tidy and as plasticky and as silent and it's a, just a small cube and it doesn't really matter. It's a gruesome, ugly war battle. But you've already t decided that it's okay. It's, it's okay for to be like this. It's okay. It's not being honest with yourself about the truth. Spleen is saying all this stuff to you. And it's almost like Spleen loves you so much because you love your Spleen so much. And you loving your Spleen so much is now giving Spleen an opportunity to actually help you in return for all you've done to help Spleen. Okay? It's so adorable and sweet and warm and loving. It's like the best ooey gooey cinnamon buns. <laughs> you and spleen. <laughs>
<laughs> Match made in heaven. <laughs> so spleen is showing me um, a change, okay? And now spleen is just a just spleen, but it looks like the body of a person. And it's entering into your prison, and you feel safe with spleen there with you. And you're kind of embarrassed and ashamed, and you feel like you've let spleen down. You're such a divine feminine energy, but you are you see yourself as nowhere near uh, even remotely near the true divine feminine energy that you are i mean you're uh, you might as well see yourself as as gutter goop and then i'm serious and the reason why that energy exists about you loving yourself is because you felt loved and that love inspired you to imprison yourself in this way and you said yes and you said okay and you became it and it was fine but what that taught you was that you're unwanted, you're gross. Seriously, Spleen is saying that. And you have got to heal this. This is sexual body, sacral chakra stuff. It also requires some throat communication. And I'll tell you what, you're starting to get a headache right now because all these other thoughts that you've been just thought streams like crazy here, they're all silenced because we're looking at this tiny little problem, which is the loudest issue that we could possibly explore today. And it's way uglier and grosser than how it expresses itself as clean and tidy and it's mature and it's responsible and it's fine. It's, it, it's a cloak. And that headache is just developing because of the stress that knowing about this creates to your mind. Who doesn't want to think about that? You'd rather think about so many other things than think about that because that doesn't really matter, right? It matters. And it's interesting that you're wanting to have this healing with Spleen. It's almost like you could tell Spleen wanted to speak to you because your Spleen isn't saying, um, I need you to transform me. I'm desperately in pain and suffering and nightmare. Your spleen is saying, I love you. Thank you so much for loving me. I want to help you and me and everybody by you looking at this. And that is the most wonderful thing that you could do for yourself because I love you that much. And by doing this for you, you do this for me too. And for everybody in your entire body, physical, energetic, soul, and on and on. <laughs> Something is literally giving way here, energetically, like um, the water balloon just, just broke because it got weak and it just happened naturally. And the stress is not the same kind of stress. It's like exhaustion. And I will say this totally quieted you up inside. Because you know. Because it's deep. And it wasn't what you expected either. And I will say this raisiny prune thing is actually trying to get your attention 
because you can heal every part of your body by healing this place inside of you. You could rejuvenate it. Oh man, it's getting me a headache, crazy headache, because there's just so much stress involved with what we're talking about here. You'd rather just give me, you know, give me a special diet and a this and a that, but don't ask me to change that which I created because that was what I, what was done to me, inspired me to make those choices to become that reflection. And I cannot undo that. It's too asking too much of me to undo that. Your whole body will heal as you work on undoing that. Unfortunately, it's sad when you have to have a learning experience that teaches you this. And now the next learning experience is to undo that learning experience. It's really hard. Don't expect it to happen overnight. Just be mindful of it and care about it, which is caring about yourself and open the door to possibilities and ways that you can return to an essence of your delightful divine feminine truth. Okay? Your heart is super moved right now and it's tired because there's so much feelings involved with this. So your digestive is actually um, feeling quite um, purified because it needs to talk about this. Your spleen needs to talk about this, your stomach, your liver, your digestion, your emotions, they need to talk to you about this. How's your spleen gonna talk to you about this? Because it doesn't have a mouth and a throat and a voice box. It has to speak to you another way, so you're picking up, you're sensing something. And now you're thinking, I need to work on healing my spleen, when really your spleen is saying, you need to heal this. And healing this is healing everything. It's going to help all of us. And it's going to create a more joyful life for yourself. <sighs> everything heals when you heal, when you choose to f face this one. And man, it's... What it took to get to this, I mean, it could take that to get out of this, to undo it. And it's going to feel wrong. But it's important that you try, okay? You sad and your eyes and your ears ache. Because it's not always something you want to hear, you know? This is deep, really deep. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much for this deep, powerful, meaningful, awing experience with you and your soul today. And thank you for sharing. It's a really big deal. For any of you interested in exploring a psychic session with me, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you all have a great day.